Once again, the Longines Global Champions Tour put on an outstanding show for their spectators, thousands of whom had lined the sands of Miami Beach to watch the second leg of the tour take place against the turquoise sea and a white sand backdrop. The top riders in the world were out in force to compete for their share of the coveted 23 million euro prize money. Taking the stage in front of their US fans were world number one, McLean Wars, and launching world number two, Ken Farrington. But they had a tough competition for the whole host of famous faces. They're appearing this week for the sport. The tough first round saw top riders fail to make it through, with poles rolling and the expectant crowd gasping as riders picked up faults all over the course. Belgian star Nicola Philippartz was first to go, clear with a flawless round, with his young nine-year-old Holsteiner stallion, oh, oh, Chili Willy. Oh, he really got off the track. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful round. I, I don't think he even rubbed the jump. Other riders tried and failed to join the young star, but could not keep the poles up until Italian Alberto Zorzi rode a masterful clear with a dark bay for less I mean, he's definitely built to ride, that's for sure. <laughs> There are a few shock exits for many riders, including Michael van der Vluten and Eric Mars, all out of the running. The jump off saw the four best riders representing three countries. First to go, Nicola Philippartz and Chili Willy set the scene. This jump you can't flat out run at. This is going to come down quite easily if you just run at it. So, clear round, but I, I think the time is very beautiful. Alberto Zorzi from Italy took the lead and topped it on 37.96. Harry Small as his stallion Emerald lost his footing around the corner. Harry circled the stallion and calmly resumed the round, costing him four. Last up, Jerome Gary and Grand Cru van der Rosenberg had a time of 37.96 to beat. He got the nine easier, so he didn't get thrown out as much. Yep, he's, a, he's got him. 37.96 to beat, and it's uh, a chase to the finish. He's got a little bit of room as he gets there. Is it enough? 37.39. Oh, he's so excited. <laughs> a delight on the faces for the team for uh, Jérôme Guéry. Grand Cru van der Rosenberg, the kiss and cry cannot hold them either. The Belgian rider clearly couldn't have been happier with his career-defining moment as he kissed his horse and took his spot on the podium to receive the lion's share of the 300,000 prize money. It's amazing for me, my whole jump is amazing. I'm so, so happy to, to have this victory in my career. It's, I'm, I'm really, okay, I'm really happy. The tour now heads around the world to the shimmering backdrop of Shanghai.